And around the Ozarks, the summer tourist season has come to an end in Branson. But was it a success or is there room for improvement? Color 10's Crystal Blair spoke with city leaders this afternoon on this topic and joins us live from our Branson Bureau with more. Crystal. Well, Heather and David, the city leaders I spoke with say that according to their notes, the summer of 2018 in Branson was a record success almost a billion dollars worth of new investment on the books. Jeff Seifert, president and CEO of the Branson Area Lake Chamber of Commerce, CVB, says the numbers are up. That sales tax data shows for the summer uh, that uh, the city and the tourism tax district uh, are up uh, roughly 8% for the year. Seifert credits new attractions and shows for drawing more people to the area. Attractions uh, that have been announced uh, like the new aquarium, uh, Paula Deen's, uh, Land Shark Restaurant of the Landing, uh, new shows, redesigned shows, the Hughes Brothers, uh, all those things combined have made up one heck of uh, a year for us. And my gosh, all of the wonderful things going on uh, down uh, with Big Cedar Lodge uh, and the golf courses down there. And while the attractions are growing here in Branson, there's still much love for live entertainment. Obviously, the attraction industry uh, nationally continues to grow and be strong, uh, and we've seen that uh, here in Branson as well. Uh, but what we're known for is shows, uh, and we continue to see uh, not only redesigned shows, uh, new shows into the marketplace, uh, but a passion for live entertainment uh, right here in Branson. We're having another one of those record years, and we are just so blessed and so grateful that people want to come here and you know, create memories with their families. And Mayor Karen Best says it's not over. We're in the midst of our fall season. We're looking forward to the trees turning and and uh, it's always a, a, a great time of the year to visit here. And right after fall is Christmas season, so we are in full swing. And Cypher tells me that after having half of his budget cut in 2017, he's encouraged because Governor Parson is standing behind the city in funding. Reporting live in Branson, Crystal Blair, Ozarks First. All right, Crystal, thanks for that report there. We'll take a live look right